Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. <coughs> Obviously, you saw in my vlog, or you've either been to the game or already saw the score. West Brom lost 2-1 to Southampton in the FA Cup 5th round. Um, I'm just going to give my player ratings and, you know, rate the fans and stuff like that. <coughs> Get straight into it. Ben Foster. He made a few good saves, again, but the defence around him doesn't help, so 6 Dawson, I don't think he was that good today. He was okay, so five. Um, I actually can't remember some of the players, even those at the game. McCauley, you can see that he tries, but it looks to me like his legs are gone. He seems like he's losing a lot of pace. I know he wasn't the paciest of players before, but he seems even slower now, and he was just lacking a bit today. So five. Hagazi. Now, for me, he was one of the better players on the pitch yet again. He seems like a bargain for three million. Um, you know, some of the tackles he was making, you know, he was he was quite good, to be honest. So I'm going to give Hagazi a seven. He always plays well. Evans. <coughs> now, I know Johnny Evans got booed before the match, obviously, with the incident, what's happened. Um, he was OK. He wasn't spectacular, so five. Right mid, Matt Phillips. For me, he kept losing the ball all the time. He was trying to do too much at times and, you know, he just didn't help. So, five. Krakowiak. No, Krakowiak as well. I didn't really notice him, if I'm honest. So, five again. Gareth Barry. No, I thought Barry was one of the worst players on the pitch. He kept giving the ball away. Again, like McCauley, he just seems like his legs have gone. He seems too old now to play. Obviously, he's been a really a really good player in his career, but I don't think he was uh, <coughs> that good. Uh, McLean. No, McLean was my man of the match today. I thought he was superb. You know, some of the runs he was making, he was one of the only players who was making runs. He was having shots and stuff like that. No, I don't like McLean personally. Uh, I don't like his opinions. I don't like him as a a player I don't think he's that good but today he really impressed me so I'm going to give James McLean an 8 uh, Solomon Rondon <clears throat> now his goal was absolutely superb and if he could do that in every single match then he would be a great striker but I'm going to give him a 7 just because he scored that goal and his goal was fantastic but other than that he was same as normal always on the floor Rodriguez I think he was crap today you know, some of his touches were really let him down. Uh, there was times where he could have made runs, could have passed the ball, and he just didn't. So, five. Uh, on to subs now. Um, Chris Brunt, I didn't really notice him, so I'm going to give him a five. Oliver Burke, I don't think he really had time to do anything. So, five. Um, Chris, no. Sam Field, sorry. <coughs> he looked okay when he came on, to be fair. Made a few good passes. You know, he's young, so he's got a lot to learn. So I'm going to give him a six. The manager today. Now, I know a lot of people are turning against the manager already. But I think the problem lies a bit deeper than the manager, in my opinion. Uh, some of the subs uh, I, I didn't agree with, to be honest. But so I'm going to give him a six. Um, fans today. I thought the fans were brilliant. You know, they was quite loud, even though we didn't sell out. Uh, the only thing I did have an issue with was just booing some of the players but yeah I thought the fans were really good again so I'm going to give the fans an 8 but yeah that was the you know player ratings hope you enjoyed the video see you in a bit guys